In the previous lecture, you learned how to select an element by its ID. This method selects a single element, the HTML tag with the ID. But what if you want an element that doesn't have an ID or you want to select multiple elements on a page? For example, you might want to select all the items inside an unordered list so you can turn them into to-do list items that users can click to mark a task is done. Well, if you know the tag name of the element, you can use a method called document.getElementByTagName. This method is very similar to the previous one we have learned, but keep in mind that this method contains the word elements, while the last one has element. So if you mix these up, you definitely get an error, because each method returns a different data type. While getElementById method returns a single element that can be accessed directly, the getElementsByTagName method returns a collection of elements. A collection is like an array that you can access an element using its index number or look over the whole collection to access all of them. Now, let's look at an example. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. And then open the index.html file in the browser. In the index.html file, remember to link app.js file. So now let's flip back to the browser, refresh the page, open the JavaScript console, and in the console, I'll start by creating a variable named myParagraph to store the collection of all the paragraph elements. So I'll type document dot get elements by tag name and pass in p tag. This will get all the p tags in our HTML document. So now if I type my paragraph dot length, I'll press enter. You see that we get one because there's only one paragraph element in our HTML document. And then we can access that element the same way we could get an element from an array using the index number. So I'll type my paragraph, a set of square brackets, and pass in the index number zero. I'll press enter. Since zero is the first element of an array, and as you can see, this returns the paragraph element. So now let's turn the paragraph into blue using the trick we have used for the heading. So I'll type my paragraph, a set of square brackets at index zero and dot style dot color assignment operator and string blue i'll press enter and the paragraph turns blue so now let's flip back to app.js and use get elements by tag name to select the heading element instead of get element by id Remember, we are getting a collection back, but there's only one heading on the page. So we know that element will be the first in the collection. So I'll define an index of zero. I'll save the chains. Refresh the page. I'll type orange in the text field. Click the button. And the heading becomes orange. Good. Keep in mind that the get elements by tag name method really shines if you have several elements to select. So for example, let's jump over to the HTML file. And I'll go ahead and delete the input and button elements for now. Then I'll put a paragraph and list elements. A list of things that can be colorful. And you can copy this HTML code from the exercise folder. First, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. 
Then open the folder called data. Then select the file called cars.html. So now with JavaScript, we're going to turn the list item to purple. I'll save the change in this file. And in the app.js, I'm going to delete all the codes we have written so far. But you can still find this code from the exercise folder. First open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. Then open the folder called Final. Then select file called appfinal.js. So now I'll save the chains, refresh the page, and here's our new list items. Now I'll open the console. And create a new variable named my list. And assign all the list items. So I'll type document dot get elements by tag name and pass in li tag. I'll press enter. So first, let's turn the list item Honda to purple. Now, Honda is the third item in the list, meaning that in the collection, its index is two. So I'll type my list, a set of square brackets, at index two, dot style, dot color, and assignment operator, and string purple. I'll press enter. The list item Honda now became purple. Good. So now let's turn the whole list into purple. Back in app.js, I'll create a new variable named my list and assign all the list items. So I'll type document dot get elements by tag name and pass in li tag and we can then loop through all of them with a for loop so now inside the loop we can set each list item to purple by typing my list a set of square brackets at index i, then dot style, dot color, assignment operator, string purple. All right, I'll save the chains. Refresh the page. And we see that all the list items are now purple. Good. Up next, I'll teach you how to select elements based on their class.